The beekeeper has to make sure that these bees have enough fuel or honey mm -hmm. to take them through winter because that's a trick that the honey bees have. They depend on this store of honey to uh, produce warmth, which they do by eating the honey and vibrating mm -hmm. their wing muscles. And that produces warmth to keep the colony warm. Mm -hmm. So going through winter, the colony will cluster together to keep warm into a hollow ball. And the queen will be in the center. She'll have stopped laying any eggs by that time and they may let the temperature in the middle down to about 20 centigrade. As soon as she starts laying eggs in the spring, they'll take that temperature up to 35 centigrade. So that's quite a high temperature and they need quite a lot of fuel for that. So the beekeeper feeds them with sugar syrup. So it's household sugar and for the winter feed, he makes it up at 600 milliliters of water to a kilogram of sugar. That makes a nice thick syrup they take that down, just as if it was nectar that they were gathering from flowers, and they ripen it into honey by adding in some enzymes to ripen it and also drying it out to the 20% water content uh, that they need to store honey in. So we have a special feeder, and you can see there's a hole up the middle. And here's the hole here. And then there's a cup, and the cup goes over the inner cone, and that leaves just a bee space. So the bees can go up the center from the hive, down that bee space, have a slurp of syrup, reverse back up, back down into the hive, and it's like a forager bee in summer taking back the nectar to the hive. We call it the rapid feed, because the bees can take down the syrup very quickly. The reason we have to have the single bee space, if we just let them come out here into the, hunt, into the syrup, they would just drown. But because we just have a narrow space, they can always get a grip on that plastic uh, and uh, that uh, enables them to work in that space without drowning. So these come in different shapes. This is a one that holds two litres, three and a half pints of syrup. And the beekeeper would like the hive to have at least 20 kilograms of honey or food on board for winter. That's about what the colony needs to take it through winter, 20 kilograms. So if the bees haven't quite got that much down in their brood nest, we would have the super off by that time. Then we would feed them some syrup. So we'll look into this hive, which has already got a feeder on, similar to that one, but a slightly different shape. So this is just an empty super it's on to provide space. And if we take the lid off this feeder... Here we see the inner cone, and the space between the outer cup and the inner cone, and the bees are down looking for syrup. So we'll give them some syrup, and they'll suck that up, the proboscis, the sucking tube they have around their tongue. There they are, you see them starting to suck it up. They take the nectar or syrup back into the hive inside their honey stomach. So the first stomach they have in the digestion system is a little honey crop or honey stomach. That's where they transport the nectar back to the hive or transport syrup back down into the hive. So they can fill up their honey crop and come back and eject that to some of the bees inside the hive that will be processing it into honey for some of the young bees. That's one of their tasks. And the beekeeper would feed them until he thinks that the hive is heavy enough and he checks that by lifting it so he we call it heft. Oh yes that's got plenty of food so we won't have to feed that colony much more. It's got plenty for winter. That's feeding the bees for winter. 